Hi guys, my name is Amina. Welcome to African Daisy Tarot. Um, this is your weekly spiritual reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Earth signs. We'll check your current energy, what to look out for for the week ahead, and what is the advice. Um, my readings are timeless, so whenever you see it is when you're meant to find it, and it'll be for your next seven days, okay? Um, so yeah, let's get right to it. As usual, I've got a blend of two tarot decks. So you've got the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. And this is about uh, momentum. I mean, uh, things are picking up speed. Um, you know, maybe life has been on pause, uh, but now it feels like everything is suddenly moving forward. So it's those moments where everything has been stuck and finally it starts to kind of loosen up. So you might be feeling like, um, maybe you're swept uh, along with the current, you know, and it's pushing you to keep moving. Um, yeah, so this isn't just about physical action. It could be emotional too, okay? So you could be letting go of old wounds, doubts, you know, stagnant energy. Um, there's a flow here that feels very encouraging. Uh, so that's good. And then you've got the Eight of Pentacles, and this is about focus. It's about routine. It's about steady effort. Um, you know, the person on, on the workbench here, he's hammering away, you know, with precision. And it's in, it's that energy of putting in the work and knowing that it's going to pay off. So you're not rushing or, you know, cutting corners. It's about showing up consistently and doing what needs to be done. Okay, so there's this strong sense of justice, um, you know, tied to this. You get what you give, right? So when you commit yourself to something, the rewards will follow. Okay, so whether that's personal growth, whether that's relationships, you know, career, uh, this is about progress comes from the effort that you put in daily. Okay, and then you've got the Six of Swords, and this feels, this is a transition, and it's a shift away from the rough waters, you know, towards something calmer. So it's about leaving behind what's no longer working, even if it's not easy. So maybe you're stepping away from a tough situation or letting go of something that's been kind of weighing you down. You know, the card here shows that the boat's kind of moving across the water and it's a that's a symbol of hope. Um, you know, you're heading towards clear skies, smoother waters, you know, um, it, it's, you know, and it's okay that it feels um, bittersweet. You know, moving forward, sometimes it means leaving things behind, right? So it's all part of that journey. So yes, what to look out for. Okay, you've got the world card, the hermit. Some of you could be moving to a different country, like relocating. So um, uh, the world, the hermit, and the six of cups. So what to look out for? This is about, in the world, it's about completion. It's about achievement. You know, it feels like you're reaching the end of some kind of chapter, uh, you know, a successful conclusion to something that you have been working on. Um, you know, but these endings, they, they bring mixed emotions um you know and 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 even when we accomplish something big there's all, there's often a sense of what now right um so that comes in with a bit of grieving you know uh you know for what's ending um it, it's like you reach the top of that mountain and you're realizing there's another one waiting right so uh i think this is what to look out for i feel like this is just like a reminder to celebrate how how far you've come and, and, and to honor that, um, you know, both that completion and that new beginning. And then with the Hermit card here, this is about introspection. It's about stepping back to reflect. So sometimes you need to retreat from that chaos, that those distractions of life to figure out what truly matters, right? Um, you know, the, the Hermit, he's carrying that lantern, he's lighting his own path. It means that his journey is about finding, this journey is about finding your truth and uh you know not not following someone else's you're following your light so you might feel that pull to escape you know this world um and, and i mean like the consumerism materialism you know um just for a, just for a little bit just to so you're able to focus on your inner world okay so no more brands no more um you know just it, like i said consumerism like worried about clothes and and, and all the things that we worry about right now it's just, uh, you know, and, and, and these quiet moments, that clarity, you know, that's when clarity comes. So, you know, don't don't be afraid of taking that step, you know, and, and it's nice that it's it's uh, in the what to look out for position because that is coming up for you. And then you've got the six of cups and this brings back this brings up um, nostalgia. 
you know, memories, reflections, you know, maybe even connections to the past. Some of you could be doing some um, child, in, in a child work. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's not about getting um, stuck in what was, but it's about appreciating how far you've come. So think about those lessons that you've learned, you know, the people that you ha who have shaped your journey you know, and, and those experiences that have brought you here. So this could be that time to reconnect with someone, maybe something from your past, you know, that brings you joy, um, you know, find that stillness. You've got the hermit car right here. And, uh, you know, something from the past, um, so, uh, finding that stillness and gratitude um, in, in those moments while also very focused on the present, if that makes any sense. Okay. So what is the advice? Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Hmm. So with the Queen of Pentacles, it's about staying grounded. It's practical, you know, generous. Um, the, she's the energy of nurturing, you know, not just others, but herself too, right? So maybe uh, nurturing yourself too. So maybe it's time to kind of take care of the basics, okay? especially in the advice position, your home, your health, uh, your finances, getting organized and, and focusing on truly matters, right? This is the time to find that balance between giving and receiving. So, you know, don't forget to nurture yourself as much as you care for others, because that is the, the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She takes care of everybody, but she also doesn't forget to take care of herself. Okay. Um, and then the Six of Pentacles is about, um, in, the, in the advice position would be, um, keeping that flow of energy going, okay? So whether that's emotional, fin financial, uh, physical support, you know, it's that give and take dynamic of life, right? So if maybe you've been holding back, it might be time to kind of open yourself up to receive. Uh, and you, if you have been receiving, then maybe now would be a great time to give back to in, in any way that you can, okay? So keeping this balance will kind of help you stay uh, aligned and um, attract that abundance. Um, and then with three of wands is, uh, you know, this is your cue to plan ahead, you know, especially in this position, you know, is this somebody standing, the merchant standing, you know, on a cliff, he's watching his ships sail in and it's that energy of anticipation and preparation. So what's next for you, right? This is the time to think big, set those goals, take those first steps towards them, you know, um, whether that's in your career, your personal life, your spiritual growth, um, you know, this is just talking about that your future is in your hands. So dream, be it, dream big, um, you know, but stay also stay grounded, right? You've got the Queen of Pentacles right there and, and, and know that what you're building now will lead to greater things, you know, down the road. Yeah, so that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.